That was such a beautiful performance. I really have to say, you can find so much beauty in Hawaii. Seriously. So on to the next group now. We have Timor Leste. And I'm going to give you some, uh, a little bit of facts about the country and some culture description. Thank you, my beautiful assistant. <laughs> Timor Leste, one of the world's newest nations, is located in the eastern half of the island of Timor, which lies between Indonesia and Australia. The country gained its freedom from Indonesia in 1999 and achieved international recognition as independent nation state on May 20th, 2002, after four years of being under United Nations transi transitional administration. Despite centuries of occupation under Portugal and then Indonesia, the Timorese people have developed a rich and unique culture, including exceptional musical tradition. It is a source of identity and fertile ground for the spiritual and cultural growth of the new nation. The songs and dances mostly reflect our century-long struggle for independence and the share of happiness during our leisure time. They also reflect the enthusiasm of the Timorese youth to pursue better education abroad with new experiences that would be very useful for the development of the new country. The following songs and dances represent those reflections. The Kadalak Suli Mutu is the song of suffering under occupations and the call of unity among Timoresi against the oppressors. The song was popular among Timoresi residents in the late 70s <clears throat> during the early Indonesian innovation. Sama Hare is the song of innovations among Timoresi farmers and paddy growers to share happiness during harvesting time. It reflects Timoresi agricultural life which, which lies on farming and paddy field. Suru, Suru Poek is a folk song and a dance for all the Timoresi who per pursue education abroad to the proud of being Timorosi and calling them to return home to rebuild the country. Please help us welcome the Timor-Leste group.
Oh, 